everybody, welcome back, unboxing time, Mary's here. Hello. And uh, we're here to open up the July 2017 Funko Smuggler's Bounty Star Wars box. <laughs> the theme is droids, and literally right before we started this video, I just realized this box has not been spoiled for me. So that's at first. I don't remember the last <laughs> time the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty has not at least spoiled one pop. I say all that and watch me see it and be like, oh wait, I did know that, I just <laughs> forgot. But no, seriously, I don't think I... <laughs> Uh, but anyways, it's like $25 a month and I think $6 shipping um, if you want to subscribe. I have the link to do so in the description below. Mm -hmm. You guys can check it out. And Star Wars 1 has been pretty cool, even though my problem with it has been they don't make enough Star Wars Funko items. That's starting to change. I've seen the prototypes of the Dorbs now. we got Mystery Maze ah. coming. And my pen literally just exploded out of my box. Like, I mean, it didn't fall out. I lifted this and um, it... Oh! That's my ring. I know, that's your <laughs> ring. No, that's okay. I just wasn't... I should say I'm sorry. Ow. Yeah, that, I got you a weapon, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, we need to find a way of wanting to. Let's show them. <laughs> like it. They haven't seen. They're good. Eh, come on, camera. Hi. It's a little wee bit pointy. I can get it to focus. Yeah, what the fuck, camera? Focus. Focus. Eh, focus, grasshopper. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can look online. You'll find it. All right, well, anyways, <laughs> do you want to do the patch? It's probably already out. I'm not going to look at this. Okay. Because I like the pens more than the patch. All right. This should all be, this should be all the droids. The patch smallish. Really? That's because that's just the bag the pin came in. The patch is oh. actually over here, which is backwards. <laughs> is that backwards? I don't know. No, I don't think it's backwards. I know you never really get to do that uh, part, do you? All right, so we got a C-3PO with uh, offset uh, R2-D2. Was it R2? It looked all black. Is that sure? Are we not, is it not a Death Star droid? I didn't, I didn't get a good look at it. I trust you. I would assume that's R2-D2 if they're doing C-3PO. I guess it's supposed to be, but the colors are kind of weird there. I don't know why they went and used white thread and then blue accents. I don't know. Of course, you're. Of course, my fingers. Are yeah, right. I was just, just thinking your fingers kind of right on it. There you go. Just hide your face with 3PO's face. If it will focus, it's a... there, there you go. Oh, there it's it goes. focusing on actual 3PO's face. That's right. cool. All right, so. Uh, it's, it's... it's droids and then a lot of stuff in space. Arabesh. I think it's Arabesh is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I just call it space runes. Uh, no, Star Wars actually has a language, much like Klingon or whatever, ah. that is translatable, so, I don't know. I've never heard anybody speak it. <laughs> uh, technically, you're hearing them speak it. It oh. just sounds like English. I don't know. Anyways, let's look at so the... So there's a TARDIS around, basically. Constantly. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. What is it? Battle droid. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, we haven't really gotten a whole lot of prequel era stuff. I did like the battle droids and, and, and the prequels because they just made me laugh. Well, I was going to say, they, they maybe got a tad bit too goofy, particularly in the movies. But overall, I know, but overall, I actually really like it. And in the cartoons, they do some awesome stuff with them. And the design is really, really cool as far as designs go. You know, I mean, that's one of those things. So. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that pen. All right, I got to move the flap thing. I know, I know. I'm also telling them in case they've never seen it. We just want to thumb our chins down at thumb our chins down at you. I speak English good. Hey, guess what? There's actually a T-shirt or some kind of big wearable. Isn't there usually? No, they have, well, not 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 consistently anymore. Oh, okay. We have a regular size pop. We have a slightly oversized pop, or that might be regular. Just feels weird in here. Do we just have a T-shirt and two pops? That'd be I'll weird. Just grab a shirt. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I may have a shirt. They don't usually package those. No, they do. It's a shirt. Oh, this is a cool shirt. Well, take it out of the I'm Patience, grass. Patience, young pad one. <laughs> <laughs> Mary would so go to the dark side in a heartbeat, dude. <laughs> Aww. But it's the map to Luke. Yes, yes, that's pretty cool. With I wouldn't go dark side per se. I have to go to the I don't give a fuck side. Yeah, you'd go dark. Maybe not, okay, maybe you wouldn't be a Sith, but you'd go dark side. <laughs> Sith is a religious order, but it, yeah, the I don't give a fuck attitude is the path to dark side. <laughs> the light side cares more about others than the humans. I'd be oh, gray. Yeah. I'd be a gray Jedi. Oh, I'd probably be gray too. Yeah, but you'd be a little quicker to just lose your temper and screw someone up. <laughs> <laughs> Saber them through the chest. <laughs> no, I wouldn't save them. If, 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 if I get the force and I can throw them around, I'd be like... See? There you go. How often would you be force choking me? <laughs> See, yeah. I, I, I think you'd be smart enough to learn after a while. Oh God, if you think I think too loud now. 
<laughs> if we were Jedi, holy crap. <laughs> That'd be bad. I wouldn't be alive. I'd be dead. <laughs> okay, oops, sorry. I think after the second or third time you tried to do the, 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 the Jedi mind trick on me, <laughs> you'd learn. <laughs> yeah, you can feel, is there just the two boxes? I really didn't feel anything else. I feel packaging and two boxes. I think that might be it, unless there's something underneath all that. All right, well, if you want to do oh, a smaller one, maybe. No, Are you found? No, it's oh, expensive. yeah, that's just. <laughs> you will take the pop to the right. It's a smaller one. <laughs> I'll take the pop to the right. That's a smaller one. <laughs> you don't need to sell me death sticks. <laughs> you want to go home and rethink your life. R5! Okay, is this nice. from Rebels? No, that's um, from the original New Hope. That's okay. the Jedi droid, R5, in non-canon. Um, oh, well, I didn't think to warn you. That's the other... That's the other one in there. I hate when I do that. Um, yeah, I, I do not remember what the other one is. What? <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, R5, so... Okay, so don't show them <laughs> the back. Okay, right, yeah, don't show them the back just yet. Um, so, for your recollection, in A New Hope, when the Jawas show up to sell droids to Uncle Owen and Luke, uh, they're go they buy C-3PO, they buy R5, but R5 has a bad motivator, and kind of his head explodes. And then they choose R2. Okay. There was a comic story about how he was a, he was actually a Jedi, and that he realized he had a Force vision mm -hmm. that Luke needed to have R2 to save the galaxy. So he <laughs> sacrificed himself so that Luke... Robots can be Jedis? Well, I mean, again, it, it's not canon anymore, but mm -hmm. it was always kind of like, oh, he's the Jedi droid. It's kind of a neat thing. I don't know if it's in a oh. what-if story or what, but okay. I still can't. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah, this might be a normal-sized pop. Maybe it's just tall. It feels slightly oddly sized. There's no card in here. That's weird. It's a normal size. Oh! Well, good. I couldn't make out what it was it's from like that. It's naked C-3PO? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's prequel. When Anakin built him in Phantom oh. Menace. Before he got the coverings put on in Attack of the Clones. That's really cool. That's one of the coolest pops I've ever seen, actually. So, Naked 3PO. Yeah, it's basically Naked 3PO. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his 3PO. Oh, wah, wah. Okay, come on, camera. Why are you being a pain? There we go. Uh, hopefully you guys are getting a good... I mean, there's so much detail in this. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you. Wow, well, <laughs> zoom in. I'm going to push in a little bit for you. But that is just an awesome pop. And you know, if they told me, if somebody said, hey, you're going to get, um, you know, uncovered, unfinished 3P, I'd be like, eh, that doesn't sound cool. But when you actually see him, it's a very cool pop figure. You, what? Why did you unfocus? You were perfectly finally focused, camera. God. It's, it's, it's having it's having a fit today. It's like trying to take a kitty to the vet. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, though. That is awesome. And R5, actually. I wasn't really terribly excited about the droids pack, because I'm like, eh, droids, the pops never really look that good. This is very cool. You know what this looks like? This looks like one of those, uh, look. like, Grey's Anatomy book of no drawing worth... Uh, with, oh, with like, like layers. Like blood vessels and yeah. everything. It's kind of what that reminds me of. Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, good job, Funko. I really like that one. I'm really amazed. <laughs> I got a Star Wars box that I had not seen anything from. And I like everything in here, despite the fact that I didn't get a card, you know, that shows me the mm -hmm. prototypes and all that stuff. But um, still, nice shirt, patch, pin. Mm -hmm. Patch is the weak link, I think. Pops are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so comment away, guys. Let us know what you think of this box. Uh, did you get a card? Are we missing out on anything? <laughs> What's your favorite item this month? For me, it's that 3PO pop. That thing is stellar. Um, let us know. We just want to hear your thoughts. Geek out with us in the comments. <laughs> That's what they're there for. Yeah. Click that thumbs up <laughs> button. Give us a thumb of encouragement. We do love to be encouraged. All right, we're going to get out of here, go open up a bunch more stuff. We'll see you all later. <laughs>